Hey guys, what's going on? Jeebus here with another video. Asked by request from a few people on my stream that I make a video about how to set up TSM or Trade Skill Master initially to get started. Because I don't know all the advanced stuff about this add on yet. Um, I might find that out eventually if I ever feel like I need it. Right now, I don't feel like I actually need to know all. All the stuff that is about this add-on. Right now, I just want to want to know that how to put items in a group, put it, give it an operation, put it on the auction house, repost, everything like that. What is the add-on? Uh, TSM is an add-on that allows you to, like I just said, create groups for certain items, post them on the auction house, and profit, basically. In, in simple steps, that's what it is. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to curse.com and download TSM. I will add a link to, to this page right here. And you want to download all of this, every single one that is down here. Just, just download everything, okay? It's easier that way. Have you done that? Good. Then you want to go to tradeskillmaster.com and you're going to get to a page that looks just like this one. And the first thing you want to do is... Log out. The first thing you want to do is click here and sign up free. Enter your username, your email address, and enter a password. Create account. This is only used like once or twice ever. You only use it to log in here, and you use it to log in on this TSM application that you're going to use to scan the market from of your server and the entire region. You're going to use something called the TSM application. Anyway, once you've done that, once you've done that, I'm just going to log in real quick. Once you've done that, you go up here you and to this desktop app button right here. You click overview slash download. Download now for Windows or Mac. And then download for Windows. Start it. Install it. Because I've already done all this, I don't need to install it again. But that's basically the first thing you want to do. Okay? That's the first thing you want to do. Download the add-ons. Download the TSM application. And then what you want to do is you want to exit out of World of Warcraft. Now I got some shit here that I'm not supposed to have there. I'm not. I'm supposed to have them over there. And that one doesn't need, have to be there either. Uh, we can just move this to the side for now. Next thing you want to do, like I said, close down World of Warcraft. Close it down. You don't need it. The next thing you want to do is you want to go open up your TSM application. And this is all going to be empty when you get in here this is all going to be empty you might say eu up to date great deals not applicable last updated then and there and then us up to date not applicable updated then and there so the first thing you want to do here is you want to go to settings and then click here on setup realms you might have to change this wow directory thing as well I'm not 100% sure, but just set that set that to wherever you have World of Warcraft installed currently. Then go to Setup Realms, and you're going to get another window popping up. And this is also going to be completely empty. So let's say I was playing on Laughing Skull on, on uh, Europe. I set... Okay, you can't see that. Let me just remove the cam. You have to go here. You set to EU... And then you find your server, so Laughing Skull. Where is it? It's on L, probably. There it is, Laughing Skull. And then you click Add Realm. 
And that realm is going to be in that list. Once you've done that, you can close the browser window, click done. And as you can see, it doesn't show up here. So what you want to do is you want to close the TSM. Are you sure? Yes. Open it up again. And now it's right here. Can you see it? It's right here. And then you have to wait for it to say up to date right here under auction DB it says up to date. And then once that's done, you can keep this open. I choose not to. So I exit out of it and then I start up World of Warcraft again because you have to have it shut down. First of all, because of the add ons. Second of all, because of the TSM, it adds information into the add on that can't be accessed unless you reset the auction house. And then when you get in to the game, you're going to have this icon right up here but by your minimap called Trade Skill Master V something. Click on that. And just for the sake of this video, I have bought a bunch of fruit here to put into a group and show you how to, to group items. This goes for anything you want to put up there. Anything you want to put up there, this can be applied to everything. It doesn't have to be fruit. It doesn't have to be mounts. It doesn't have to be pets. It doesn't have to be transmog items. It can be whatever you want it to be, but the principle is the same. So the first thing you want to do is set up a group. So you click on the third button button from the left called groups, click on that, and then click on this groups, the green one, and then a group name. I'm just going to call this fruit, <coughs> click OK. And then you have group items to the right and ungrouped items to the left. I'm just going to go ahead and click every single item in here and click add and it's going to put them into this group. Now, once you have them in the group, if you go to the auction house and you try to do anything with this group, it's not going to happen. Nothing, nothing's going to happen. Uh, I'll show you real quick. If I open up the auction, go to auctioning. Yeah, it's not even in here. It's not even in there for some reason. So what you want to do next is you want to go in here to operations, click on that, go to auctioning, make a new operation name, and I'm going to call it sell fruit. Now you can put duration 12, 24 or 48, 48 hours. I like to keep it at 24 in order to keep up with the competition. Post cap is how many auctions of the same item you will want to allow. I put this to 200 always. Stack size. Now, this is where the difference between items and items come in. If there's an item that you can't stack, it doesn't really matter what you put this on. Uh, but if you put this at one, you're always going to post every one of these fruits is going to be posted in one, like one, 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 all the time. And you don't really want that to happen unless that is what you're after. But since these are in five, I'm going to put this stack size, I'm going to put five in there and uh, keep quantity max expires doesn't really matter just keep those at 70 or at, at zero undercut amount now here's what separates the good guys from the bad guys you can undercut by one copper or you can undercut by a gold and this depends on the average sell out price for the item you can't I think you can put this at like 1% or something of a, of a certain price. 
I like to go with if something sells for over 10 gold, I used to go with 50 copper or 50 silver. So let's just let's just say that this one sells for yeah, the market value is 7900. Don't think so. Uh, this one had a good market value, six gold. Then I just put 51 copper in there. And you have to put 51 and then a C for the copper. And if it sells for 200 gold, I can put one gold, 51 copper, 51 silver, and that would post it for one gold and then 49, 49 or whatever under it. So that I always keep undercutting my competition because that's what you want to do and that's it next thing is minimum price you can put this at your own custom prices like five gold 500 gold maximum price normal price 100 gold but it's gonna be hard if you have a lot of different items like i have right here i have this transmog thing and you can see i have a lot of items in here in this group right now and if I just put the operation to be at the same price, then it would post every single item at the same price. You don't want to do that. So remember, go into sell fruit, go into your, into your newly created operation, and you want to put the minimum price to 50% space DB market. Market? Market. What this does is that it will never post, like the minimum price will always be at least 50% of the market value, which is right there, 6 gold, 25 silver. Maximum price, is, you can put this to 100% if you want to. I usually put this to 120% of DB market. Okay, and the normal price is... 100% of DB market. Damn, I cannot spell to that. Deb market. Okay. And then when below minimum, you can choose to put it at minimum price or don't post at all. Or post at normal, maximum, or ignore auctions below minimum, which means pretty much that it posts on whatever i don't know i usually go for don't post items because it's never going to get sold unless you're the lowest price if your price is not the lowest people are not going to buy yours first okay simple as that when above maximum post at maximum price when below minimum don't post items okay And once you've set up this whole group, then you go to back to uh, set up this operation. You go back to groups, you go back to your newly created one, and click operations. And then operation number one, you go sell fruit. And that's it for that. Close. And now you can go to the auction house. And then you can click on auctioning. If you have any other auction, uh, auctioning, uh, 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 auctioning add-ons like auctioneer, auctionator, just disable them because you're never going to use them again. Then you want to highlight the group that you just created. And you want to do this, start post scan. And it's going to post the item. It's going to scan the auction house for your specific item. I have to sneeze. Sorry. And it's going to scan the whole auction house for those items that you have in that group. And as you can see, a lot of items turn up here. And 7,969 is just retarded. I don't see why it would ever sell for that amount of money. But, yeah. And then what you want to do is just post click post once it's done scanning because if you have a lot of items in your group like i do with my 
transmog group, it's going to take a while to scan. Okay? It's going to take a while to scan. And <clears throat> it's okay. Just know that some markets are slower, some markets are quicker with lower amounts of gold. And that is that. So what else is there to say about this? Download TSM, download the application, open it, log in, add a realm, restart if it bugs out, start WoW, create a group in an operation and add it to the group, post scan and post your items and profit. <clears throat> That's what I've written down on the notes right here. I think that's it. And for some in, for some reason these didn't get added for some I don't understand why. Probably because they're not on the auction house. Something I don't understand. It's probably because people don't usually sell them. It would be fo so funny if I actually sold one of them for 7000 gold. Anyway, that's how you set up TSM. So, groups, make a group, operations, auctioning, create an operation, set it up with how much, how many items you want to post at one point, how many auctions you want to have at one point, the price, the undercut amount, the minimum price, maximum price, normal price, what to do when the com competition is below your minimum price and when it's above your maximum price. That's it. If you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to add them down below or come into my stream whenever I'm live and you can ask me there and I can show you live what I mean. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope that this spread some clarity on the whole TSM add-on thingy. And like I said, if you have any questions, put them down below and I will make sure to check it out. And yeah, that's it. If you like, like. If you dislike, dislike. Uh, share with all your friends. Subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook. I usually reply to everything. I do reply to everything that is on there most of the time maybe not on twitter because i'm just getting familiar with twitter but i'm trying as good as i can to answer everything on twitter as well <clears throat> i'm on facebook a lot so you know just just you know okay thanks so much for watching again i will see you guys in the next one or maybe on twitch tv slash gbstv who knows hope i'll see you somewhere sometime somehow gbsoft Bye!